So hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So this is gonna be the episode five of the placement series, and in this video we'll be talking about the company Open Text. So I would suggest you to watch the video till the end so that you don't miss out anything. So without any further delay, let's begin with the video. So hi Joel, welcome to my channel. Hi Siddharth, how are you? I am good, brother. How are you? Going on, going on. So let's start with our intro first. Yep. Uh, so hi guys, I'm Joel Vogis from EC department. Uh, been Siddharth's classmate for the last four years. Uh, been a great journey. I think uh, throughout the placements, whatever we have sat through, uh, we have been together. And wait, let's yeah. uh, no, not to forget the fact that Siddharth's been having more. Uh, Many more placements than I have. <laughs> we will be discussing that in <laughs> upcoming yeah. videos. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want to ask me? What? Okay, so first of all, uh, the company you are placed in. Let's discuss about that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I've been placed in Open Text as of now. Uh, it's a Canada-based uh, based company. It's in Waterloo. Uh, they have um, their branches in uh, two branches in India. That's one in Hyderabad and one in Bangalore. So, what's your uh, like job profile? Uh, so, for us, the profiles they, we had two profiles basically. They asked us for uh, associate software engineer and associate uh, associate quality assurance engineer. So, okay. So, what was the eligibility criteria like? Uh, we were given. I think uh, it was seventy percent uh, throughout tenth, twelfth, and uh, yeah, tenth and twelfth, um, which I think most of us have passed. <laughs> <laughs> So, what about the eligibility criteria? What was like the percentage and CGPA they asked? Yeah, uh, so uh, they asked for 70 throughout the uh, 10th and 12th. I think it was 7 CGPA, CGPA for our university as well. Yeah, that's that's right. <clears throat> so, how many rounds were there for the complete uh, placement procedure? So, this is uh, Open Text basically had a standard procedure uh, in which we had uh, the first one was the pre pre placement talk. And okay. after that, they uh, did the resume short shortlisting. Most of which uh, were already, most of them were considered for that. So, in our college, resume shortlisting is not something that's mainly focused upon by the companies because it's a campus. So, most of them are given the chance. So, after okay. that, we had our uh, coding assessment. In that, it was uh, mainly mm -hmm. yeah. focusing on aptitude type questions and few coding questions. Nothing, nothing too deep, but just basics. Like what were the questions about uh, the aptitude thing? Aptitude is basically all your verbs, fonts, general whatever they teach you in college. That's the same thing. And um, yeah, so you can clear those if you have an idea of what they're teaching you in the lab, your first, second, third years. That that that's okay. it. Nothing more than that. And then uh, if you come to the coding part, if you if you know what Python or if you know what C C plus plus is, the basics of it. You are clearing the round. Open Text is not too picky on their uh, technicalities, so it's just if you know the basics. <clears throat> so moving about the next part, next round, what it was like? Okay. It was like technical or HR? Um, I wouldn't say it's technical exactly. It was not technical, man. I would say it's HR round directly. We were not considered for any. There was no uh, technical round separate as such. So it was mostly uh, given into uh, HR. The, we had a executive from Hyderabad who took our interview. It was a short 10-minute interview maximize. But yeah, we are, I know a few students who had their interviews last for 20-25 minutes who have a you know a, a especially interesting resume. So they were asked okay. about their projects and what is this? Uh, could you send me the link of the project? My, my I want to go through it. That's it. But uh, for me, it was basically um, uh, so you know how in uh, Amazon they focus more on the behavioral questions. Correct, that's, correct, correct. <laughs> that's a similar part in situation, open. situation kind of thing. Like what you would do at this particular exactly, situation. and they they don't focus much upon like what you say, uh, how deep you have knowledge in what you are doing. So as long as you have a contribution to a project you have done, they are pretty much pretty much happy with that. So I think uh, they asked they asked me to uh, give an introduction about myself. They asked me uh, what are my hobbies, what are my interests, why open text. Why, why should we consider you and uh, then what what sets you apart from the crowd and then ah yeah she asked me about my projects what I've done there were a few uh, what my the thing is we are from EC department but I have a uh, interest towards coding as well 
so half my resume is from core and the half half my resume is from coding so she uh, she asked me okay why is do you have a do you have a plan for diversified um, portfolio i was like yeah I, i intend to code but since i have a background in ec i i need to have a thing so that's it yo know, mm-hmm. as long as you're thorough with your resume you're cool that's it so like you are talking about a resume right it played a vital role in your placement pro- so what kind of resume tips and project tips that you should be giving to the geo juniors like you kept in your mind and that really helped you out so i would say for the juniors uh, i would say have two resumes ready so if you are i'm i'm talking to ec uh, and non cse branches for uh, in specifically so i would say have two resumes ready you have an option in superset to make two resumes more than two actually so have two ready one for your core department if you are from ec have a have a resume which pertains to your um, core department so in which you can put your projects which uh, you have done for the electronics communications signal processing whatever such projects fill it up because you need your resume to be as short as possible it should be ideally one page so one resume for those so that you can apply for the core companies because core companies uh, don't are not, are not too keen about you doing any uh, ml projects they they would consider it but it's not their first priority and Correct. secondly mm-hmm. second resume for such because now in srm we have this year especially we had most of the companies from uh software the software for analytics so such things so we need a separate resume for that so i would say for the second resume i have some coding projects some minimal coding projects have some machine learning projects at least a four four or five projects listed out in your resume and have that as a separate resume. because the problem is many companies are not shortlisting you because uh, the the resume which you have is a mixture of everything they don't want so much. correct and correct many companies don't believe you do so much correct <laughs> so uh, keep it keep it simple keep it short but keep the but make sure you have the keywords that the company requires if a software company is coming make sure you have those keywords those subjects listed in your resume that's it and you're cool so moving to the interview part right it's a uh, crucial part or the main part when it comes into play right so how you prepared yourself for the interview how you managed to keep your mindset calm and cool at that particular situation so coming to the interview um at, uh, at least for me uh, our interview was pretty cool she i think most of them are especially at least in hr many the interviews will be pretty cool they will want to have a conversation than take a question and answer back back and forth so the environment helped me a lot but before that it's basically your mindset man so what i say is if you are going and if you are going like pre prepared that this is what this this and this is what the answer i'm going to tell for a question it's not going to work out you will stutter somewhere and then you think about what you wanted to say so rather have a stand in front of the mirror sometime before the interview think about what you want to say look at yourself yeah this is what i'm saying as as long as you know what you want to say and not mug it up you should be pretty yeah. good with it but your but yeah we you should one thing not to forget keep your resume keep your projects well in mind so that you don't say that i was just a part of the call, the interview i did not do much that's not <laughs> correct so uh, joel like most of us while placement season we face rejections right and at that my at that point of time our mind gets like totally blunder comes in our mind like what we are doing we are not getting placed other people are getting placed so at that particular situation how are you tackle those situations and with a smiling face again you get up on the next day and you give the interview yeah uh, so about that that's a very good question actually uh, that's something i have been going through to uh, until the last few weeks so uh, what i would say is uh, as i'm doing a pretty well pretty good job on getting the companies uh, or to the ta- campus right, right now at least when the hiring is at an all time low we saw i think i read an article where uh, it said that uh, the hiring is uh, 70% down correct uh, yeah correct 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 so that's a, that's a huge problem and in but addition to that uh, like many mass hiring companies are also not coming this year exactly. then also srm is trying to like every day we are seeing one or the other company getting listed out so that's a pretty exactly. job that srm is doing that that's something srm is doing pretty well so i don't think um, and one thing our college uh, always takes care of it is uh, most of the most of the students at least you know the major major part of the ca- ca- campus gets placed yes. so that's something right. you should have that in the back of your head ki yeah uh, one day i will i will get placed so 
yeah so then naturally when you see about uh, the technical departments like especially csc students get placed and slowly your friends get placed people around you are getting placed and you you feel left out that's that's, that's absolutely natural but you have to think that as long as i believe i've done something i know what is there in my resume and there is something companies can you get used to from from me so yeah that you will get placed in at least for srn students i would say uh, you don't have to worry about your placements man if you worry about your placements if if you think about you need a higher package then you need to start working on your skills you have to upskill Correct. before the at least 6 months before your placement start the, the, you need to have Correct. at least at least two things one or two things that set you apart from the other students that is where the company will see okay why why this student not those students so that you need to have and the talking about the fomo which you are uh, having for not getting placed that there are right now you are not just know that you are not alone there are many other students who are uh, fighting with you and uh, correct believe in yourself mm-hmm. man you will get placed for sure and joel one more thing at this point of time people uh, basically students to is like they are focused on okay we want to have the software engineering part but as they see ki okay we are not getting placed so let's shift to marketing it's easy to get so what your opinion on that like uh so i would say yeah that's that's right right now especially now that people are not getting jobs i've seen many people jump uh, domains for just because uh, they want placements i've seen many people do that but i would say at the end of the day it's your career so it's a long you should see long term so rather yeah. than just looking at the uh, few extra rupees or just an entrance into a industry uh, you are uh, if you look long term you are just uh, side tracking so i don't think anyone wants it because now if you if you are very interested in coding or you are very, you are extremely good data analyst now now because the companies are not hiring many of them uh, and you get an opportunity in sales if you get into sales that's something you can't get out of again it's not easy correct you have again right now the company will ask for a 1 2 3 year agreement and after those 3 years you are uh, you find yourself too comfortable within the job to jump domains and that's a very small uh, a very small part of people who again who are st- who stick to their data analyst job who stick to their coding skills and this continue with that but that's something you should see uh, that uh, i am interested in this so i think i can give myself more time because right now even though it's december right now it's december uh, uh, december is going to start and um, right uh, still there are many companies coming and i've uh, heard that there are many many more companies to come yet correct 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 the mm-hmm. opportunity is not going to end so as just because you get a entrance uh, opportunity in the start does not mean you have to take it if it is a good cho- if it's a good choice if you think you really like it then i think you should go for it but just for the sake of the job i don't think so it's a good idea so i think joel did the explanation part in a very detailed manner and i think its tips and tricks will surely be helping out the juniors so again i would like to thank you joel for you like for guiding me. the stream so with this i think we would come to the end of the video and I will be giving the link of the LinkedIn profile and the Instagram profile of Joel. If you have any queries or you want to have any guidance from him, he will be happy to help you guys out. You can surely go him and you can contact him. And if you have any doubts or any queries, you can simply connect with us also on our Instagram handle. So with this, don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel. <laughs> so thank you guys.